Wow, okay, this red is intense, but it kind of has to do with today's video. Hello, I'm Samuel Dante and welcome to the sixth episode of this crystal paintings series. You guys were really, really excited when I showed up some uh, work in progress pictures on my Instagram stories. You really, really liked them. And I did not expect that actually. Seeing that response, uh, that feedback made me really happy and I hope you like this painting. Okay, enough talking now. Let's jump right into the process. Crystal paintings don't allow any type of mistake, so that's why before beginning with uh, the actual frame and the actual crystal, I always make two sketches. <laughs> well, as you can see, it's a rose. I'm gonna paint a rose and before making the crystal painting, I always like to make two sketches so I can figure out the dimensions of the frame, the spaces that I'm gonna leave in the actual crystal. So it's more like to have everything figured out to know that I'm not going to make any type of mistake. I make two sketches. The first one, as you can see, it's not recorded, but the second one, I like to record it because it has, it's more perfect. It has a lot of corrections I make from the first one and I also like to paint it so I can see more or less how it's gonna come out in the crystal though it's gonna be completely different when I paint it on crystal. Okay, now when the sketch is done and I actually know what I'm going to do and I know exactly every tiny detail, now it's time to prepare the frame. We cut out the plastic, we cut out all the plastic we have, all the papers, everything we don't need. And when we have the actual crystal out of the frame, we have to clean it. It's very important because it may have dust particles or dirt, and we have to make sure that uh, the crystal is completely clean before we actually paint on it. And for that, I just use alcohol. Once we have everything ready, you have to stay calm, stay still, and your body is ready to paint. Let's go. Since I've started making these crystal paintings, I've always came up with lots of the ideas to make new compositions that fit well with different frames. But the thing is that you have to have, you have to buy the right frames. And that's when I'm able to make new ones. I think that the um, thinking process or the imagination process, I don't know uh, which way you want to call it, <laughs> is that I first of all buy the frame because there are not very expensive frames, I can afford them, so I buy them and then I think what composition, what drawing, what illustration could fit in here. So I came up with the idea of the rose with the colors black and red, I think they fit very well and if we and if we also use this white pass part two, we can uh, make a very aesthetic composition, I don't know. So I just used two references. One was the uh, red rose emoji because it's a very simplistic way to draw a rose, to paint a rose that allows me to make the painting with this crystal paints. As you know from previous episodes, I have to limit myself into um, simplistic drawings or like iconic um, representations of the things I want to draw. And emojis is a very great way to do that. <laughs> so yeah, the red rose is an emoji reference. And for the stem and the leaves, I just um, use uh, some reference from other roses, from real roses. And I don't know, I just mix them up to complete a composition, of ma a painting that fits in this frame. I don't know, it just fits well. <laughs> And that's basically it. I trace the sketch with the crystal paintings. I just use red and green. And finally, I just use some permanent um, pens to tweak some final details like line art or some edges that didn't uh, came out really, really well just using the brush with the crystal paintings. Before I show you the final result, I want to tell you that you can support me on Ko-Fi or Coffee, 
and if we reach 10 supporters I will be giving away a free print or a free illustration for one of you so you can support me there. The link is in the description. Now let's see the final result. And the final result looks like this. As you can see it really changes the way it looks uh, whether it's a uh, plain background or a colorful background or white background and it also depends on the ambient light. I hope you really like the final result, you can check it out with more detail on my artistic Instagram which is at Samuel Dante and don't forget to subscribe so you're not gonna miss any new videos. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next week with a new drawing hopefully. <laughs> so see you next week, bye!